Huh? What do you want? What blessed sister? Yes? Is it important? If not, please go away. I'm not in the mood for company. Sayera, so, what part of I'm not in the mood for company don't you understand? Please, just... just leave me alone, okay? What? I don't need your pampering, your pity, or whatever it is you came here to do. I just want to be left alone. But you just don't get that, do you? You always come to me like a bloody dog. Why, Sa'ira? Why are you the only one who can't see me for what I am? All the others can. So what's the deal with you? You have no idea what you're saying. I'm a monster, damn it, a bloody abomination. And here you are, acting as if you are the only one who knows better. That's such a joke. The biggest joke since Starfall, and also the worst one. Back in old Dothelgran, when I killed that bandit, do you have the slightest idea what my first impulse was when I was done with him? The blood on your face. How helpless you are, lying there. And I would have enjoyed every moment of it. Is it? So an army of undead is harmless until they massacre the city they are marching towards? <laughs> you... you just have no idea. All that, I... Why, Saira? Why do I have to be this way? I never asked to be brought back from the dead. I never wanted to become my father's failed experiment. And I never asked to have this... this perversion put in my head. Which seems to be all that bloody defines me. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop fighting it. Maybe that thing I became in the castle is my true face. And all of this is just a part of a mask that I try to trick myself into believing is real. Yes, it is, Saira. I'm a danger to everyone around me, and I was a fool to believe you could change who you are. You can't. <sighs> Maybe I should just leave. Go somewhere where I'm by myself. Maybe that way I could prevent this thing from ever hurting anyone else ever again. Yes, it does. Give me some time to think, all right? I won't leave the order right away. Not until after we've taken care of the high ones, at least. After that... I'll have to see what the right thing to do is. Damn those enemies, you fools. This is madness. Transcribe verse 80 100 times. Keep walking. 
Yes. Have you found any of the stones yet? Here you go looking for a stone, and you simultaneously solve an Endralean mystery. Huh. It seems as if a part of the stone's energy really was banished into her body. Anyhow, let's see if we were right. Fascinating. Well, exactly what we thought would happen, I'd wager. But be that as it may, half a chicken doesn't make a cake. We still need two more stones. Yes? Have you found any of the stone? Oh, by the righteous path. His own sister? Oh, I had heard about those murders. It's cruel, truly cruel. Or they do, and they are simply sadists. Who knows? At least all that suffering wasn't in vain. Let us insert the stone. Bed. Sorry. Please forgive me, but I was here unexpectedly early and went on ahead. I asked around and found out that Dahl Mercer lives in an old manor in the Nobles District. Malfassi's blessings. Ah, that pretty boy, you mean? Aye, or did. A couple of hours ago. Drank like there's no tomorrow, I tell you. No. Why would I? He sure didn't look like he was done drinking. Malfasses. Ah, that. I. I don't know. Why? He sure didn't look like he was done drinking. Can I help you?
Walk lest, my friend. You look disheartened. Uh, that's one way to put it. Truth be told, if the Golden Sickle doesn't decide to leave a barrel full of coin on our doorstep tomorrow, now, we won't be able to pay rent I much longer. Especially now that my esteemed mother has decided to play hermit. Wow. Listen to me. A month ago, I would have been too proud to admit this. Well, what I said. For months, she has not reacted to our letter, nor sent one herself. And what's worse, she hasn't sent us any new paintings. And in case you wonder why we just don't visit her, my mother was always a little... special. And where she resides reflects that. A dark valley. So You'd do that. Yeah, That's uh, quite the offer, to be honest. A word of warning in advance. I cannot pay you. A little detour in a place swarming with undead eager for your blood. Right. I hope you know what you're doing. I really do. My mother and I, we don't exactly have a uh, good relationship. But still, I need to know she's all right. So there you go. That's where her hut should be, at least approximately. Good luck, and uh, thanks. So there you go. That's where her hut should be, at least approximately. Good luck. Fighting people of this holy. Yes? My dame, please, the Lord will redeem you for your kindness. Hmm? Hmm? May your path always be even.
some people just don't go their path. Wow, nice sword. You're not one of the Relatus mercenaries, are you? Well, it has it there higher than Sunchild, I bet you came to watch those fools cut their guts open in the dust pit. Obulus, my dame. Please, the Lord will redeem you for your kindness. There you are. Great. I think I found Dahl Mercer's manor. You see it? I asked myself the same thing. What? No. Terra is shorter and a lot more delicate. Good plan. You lead. What? Who are you? I, um, I'm a friend of Dalmosis, a good friend. What? Blazes, watch your mouth, will you? Well, a friend of mine told me that this place has been empty for a while because the owner disappeared. So I figured... Dal Mercer disappeared? What is that supposed to mean? That he's gone. And since he didn't have any friends or family, the steel crabs didn't notice. Blazes. That's a joke. Forget about it. That door won't budge. So what? We'll just pick the lock then. Ah, oh, and what do you think I've been trying to do for the past two hours, madam? Sweet-talking the damn thing into opening? Come on, let's take a look. All right, do what you want.
Yes? Um, are you Dahl Mercer? I am. Do I know you? Not yet, but somebody told me to show you this. What? Wait, are you Tara? Come on in. You must be freezing out there. Ha! <laughs> Here we go! A spare key. Really? Show me. Um, no, I won't. We found the key, so we go in first. What is it? A vision? What are you? Well, that's, uh... Good! One more reason to search the house, isn't it? Whatever you do, I'm going in too. I was here before you. Thanks for giving me permission. I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm. Looks quite tidy, doesn't it? Not like the manner of somebody who left in a hurry. Well, let's hope they didn't take their treasures with them. I'll take a look around. Do that. All right. Now again without that idiot pestering us. What do you mean by you had a vision? Huh. And you're sure that it was Terra whom you saw? Short, a coin. Huh. Oh, Terra. Where's this going? It doesn't make any sense. Come on, let's take a look around. We need something to go on. Hmm. A cellar. But the door's locked. Let me take a shot at this. There we go. Let's come on. Let's take a look around. What is this place? Shrine. I don't like this. Let's look around. What do you think? She's beautiful. Yes, that she is. And there are more of us. How many are we in total? And will they also be coming here? Seven. There need to be seven. And no, they won't. We will meet them in the castle. Hmm. You're afraid, aren't you? Me? Of course not. If it's any consolation, I was afraid too. And some days, I still am. Even now, after seven years. But you know what helps me get through these moments? What? The memory of how pointless my life had been before she appeared, and the prospect that for once in our lives, we're able to do something with a purpose. Something real. Strange. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. Something real. I remember Tara saying the exact same thing. I found her outside, wrapped in a blanket, looking into the sky. I sat down beside her and we started talking. At some point she said, the worst moments are those when everything just feels so pointless. When I can't help but ask myself why I even exist. Either way, we eventually went back to bed. 
and there she told me that she was yearning for something real. Something that would give her suffering purpose, and show her that the mist was more than just a natural depression. Yeah. Listen, you also said that Dal Mercer spoke of some kind of castle. That means that if we could find out what and where this castle is, we might also find Terra. Come on, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. We need to find something that could lead us to that castle. What do you want? Uh-huh. Listen up, friend. You can do what you want on the lower floors, but I found this room before you, and first come, first serve. So let me do my thing and we'll be just fine. Don't underestimate me. We'll see about that. What a fool. Yeah. I'm all right. I only wish he hadn't forced us to do that.
Yes? Show me. Huh. It does indeed. Hmm. No idea what that's supposed to mean. So? Yeah. Wait. The museum. Isn't there a... Then let's not waste any more time. You... Will do. Madame. A penny, madame. Please, just one penny. Though you have a kind heart, please spare a penny. Now look at that. If it isn't the holy prophetess, what? What are you doing here? Looking for some some fun? Hey, but but we we're just getting started. You you are way too serious sometimes. You know that. There are times when you just have to indulge. Eh. I am enjoying myself. What are you doing here, anyway? 
Ah, right. Talking. Talking is good. Or is it? I forgot. Maybe I can't. Yeah. Or maybe I don't give a fuck about Adila. Maybe I don't give a fuck about any of you. And I'm just waiting for the right moment to stab you all in the back. Who knows? That's the great thing about life. You can never tell exactly which way the wind blows. Is it now? What if what you're seeing here is my true self? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I think if you really knew me, you'd have been long gone. Friends, let me think how I can make myself more clear. Three words. I don't care. I don't care where my jobs come from and what I have to do as long as I'm getting paid. And I don't care if people who think they're important to me kick the fucking bucket because I just don't care. Adila's dead? Fuck it. At least that means there's no one around anymore who knows what I really am. <sighs> Alicia, she... She was the first one. I took what I wanted from her, and when it got too tiresome, I just left her behind. The high ones. Yeah, those goddamn high ones. When those thugs killed our family, she was so hurt, so lost, you know? What Adela did, what she became, that didn't just happen overnight. But I never went to see her, I never wrote her. And you know why? Not because there wasn't time for it. Not because I couldn't cope with it myself. I didn't, because I couldn't be bothered. Couldn't bother with her moodiness, didn't bother with all the drama. I just couldn't care less. Just as I didn't give a fuck about Lysia. Have you never wondered why I'm by myself? We're born alone, we live alone, and we die alone. And I seem to be the only one who fucking sees it. We were on a mission in Golden Forest, and had just set up camp for the night. That was a couple of nights after we realized that we had different expectations, so to speak. I went to get firewood, and when I came back, there were half a dozen bandits in the camp. Lysia was out cold. She was still alive. I saw it. She was alive, but I just... ran. I just turned around and fucking ran. I don't know. I never went back. Tell that to Lysia. Do you think it was any different with us? I saw you and felt there'd be money in helping you. You think we're friends, or whatever, but we aren't. If that's what you want to believe, go ahead. You think I'm something that I'm not. Something I never was. Adila and Lysia? That's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, please, just go, okay? I need to get away from here. From this city, from these people, huh? The Prodigy, huh? Apparently we owe you for the shards of this sigil stone. I didn't think I would say this.
Thank you.